don't judge the fact that you're having that thought. Because the fact that you judge the fact that you're having that thought as I shouldn't, this is bad, why am I worrying, um, intensifies the experience of the thought. Does that make sense? So I know you guys always hear me say, you're, you aren't your thoughts, right? Like you need to start learning how to separate you from what you're thinking, right? Like observing your thoughts. One of the further steps that you take is once you start observing your thoughts, realizing I don't have to judge that thought as positive or negative. I just have to judge it as it exists, right? And that is not something that's automatic. That is something that you practice and you get better at over time. So you're looking at a concern for family members in an environment that is validly concerning. And that's not a that's not any, that's not like, oh my God, I'm frothing, I'm worrying, I'm ruminating. It's, I'm having this thought because it's a valid thought to be concerned about. That's the first thing. So just, just that alone takes a lot of the edge off of it because once you allow and give yourself permission to have or not have any emotion about a thing, it alleviates half the battle. <laughs> 